Hi, welcome back for number three skill for transforming any relationship. I'm Terry Crosby in care of relationships. All right, ready for number three? It's a big one. <laughs> it's a big one. All right, number three is take 100% responsibility. End of story. Take 100% responsibility. Another way to say this is that you actually invite the end of victim consciousness in your relationship. Ask it to just take a seat and give it a heads up. It's no longer in charge. And before we go any further, I just want to say that taking 100% responsibility is not a burden. It sounds like it might be. I know. But it's but it's not. You know, we think, well, shouldn't our partner take take what's my partner got to do with this? And what part does my partner play? Well, in a way, what I would say to that very gently is it's none of your business. <laughs> so taking a hundred, it's none of your business what they do and how much responsibility you think they're taking, your job is to take 100% responsibility in every situation. And I know, tall order, and it's not what we usually do. Um, so, but trust me, it's not a burden. It is actually a liberating thing. Um, for my first three marriages, my beliefs around responsibility were what I would say, I would call it typical. I would say that my beliefs revolved around, okay, I'll take this much responsibility and you take that much responsibility. And when you add it up, it equals a hundred. It, you know, makes the whole pie, my part and your part, then we take the whole pie. Um, in some instances, I thought taking, <laughs> taking any responsibility or half responsibility was just downright generous on my part. <laughs> there were a few instances of that. But taking part responsibility didn't ever work in any of my marriages before number four, and it doesn't work. And that's what I find with consulting clients who come see me. It just doesn't work in the long run for anyone. And because what happens with partial responsibilities, we skate between happy and not satisfied and not uh, angry and resentful and not, you know, we just sort of skate between those, those opposites. And we take credit for successes, but we blame our partner for the parts that don't, that don't work. All right. I want to give a definition here of victim consciousness. It is a stage of consciousness in which people deny personal responsibility for the things that happen in their lives. People in victim consciousness believe that the world is acting upon or against them, and they are the innocent targets of other people's action or behavior. So anytime we blame our partner for something or we lean on them for being the most responsible for something, that, that's victim consciousness. Victim consciousness or blame, it results in a pattern of chronic frustration. That's what, that's what happens. Because we can't control what our partner says or does, we have no influence. Not really. They might do it for a while, um, but we're powerless anytime the cause for the trouble that we, something we're ca calling trouble, anytime the trouble is outside ourselves, then we're powerless because when we make our partner wrong for not changing, the only thing we can do is wait for them to change, you know, and when they don't, we're stuck, we're powerless, we're unhappy. But if you commit to self-awareness and curiosity, instead of repeating blame, this unravels um, the threads of the old pattern. So here's what you do. You put your attention on you and your behavior, the response you receive, 
and your adjustments for next time. Everything is in your court. One of you can learn it and model it for the other. It takes one person to transform a relationship. That's the tagline, this, the subject line um, on my the book right behind me, How to Save Your Fourth Marriage. The um, I can't remember the name of the thing, the tagline, the subject below that is one person can transform a relationship. <sighs> and since you're here listening, I nominate you. <laughs> I nominate you. All right. To be in contact with me, go to incareofrelationships.com. You can fill out a contact list. You can, a contact um page you can also join the mailing list and then you'll be informed of other things that in care of relationships is doing um, you can also go to in care of relationships.com and ske schedule what's called a meet and greet so you go to the services tab and you look for the appointment called meet and greet and you just schedule one it's free and uh, we'll talk We'll see how we might want to work together. I'll see what your questions are. And we'll decide if we are a match for each other in terms of working together. All right. Thanks for your attention. Thanks for diving into these big subjects and for making your relationships more loving. Good for you. Thank you.